little bit. It's not that, that draining, exhausting heat when you're as tired as playing for two days in a row. Absolutely. A little bit of a relief as a player, especially with all the stress of the games coming into the most important games of the weekend, and you're already exhausted. So uh, a little bit of cloud cover is always a good thing. The referees uh, making sure that everybody's ready. Ten seconds. This is the final. Six minutes on the clock. Fury against Critical. Fury, it looks like their snake player may have caught one off the break, and he did. Snake won, getting shot off the break. The most aggressive person for Team Fury right now. But Critical losing their Dorito attacker off the break, making a great counter punch up into that tower in the 40-yard line. Fury in a little bit better positions now in the snake corner and the Dorito one. Critical really bringing communication back into the game. You hear the snake one screaming that the corner in front of him is hot, that there's a player there, and that he wants help to get down the field. You're looking at snake one for critical right now. Laying down, trying to hold that corner in so that they can keep the snake to themselves. Now you have the tower four, Fury. Team Fury moving up to Doritos three. And critical, picking that up, finding that next move. And uh, as long as you know where a player is, he can be in a dangerous position, but your whole team has to know. So that communication has been great so far for critical. Now, obviously, these games are going to be a little bit slower, not because of the division, but because it's only a two-point mercy rules. So with little time left on the clock, you really got to be careful about that first point. As critical loses their snake one player, who's been doing a lot of damage for them this event. Oh, and you hear the crowd going wild <laughs> as there's a big trade out for both teams on that Dorito side. What do we got? Two on two now? I believe so. I believe it's two on two. Team Fury in a little bit better positions here, having a player in the snake. And oh, three on two. There is still a snake corner for Team Fury. That so you hear critical screaming, cross it, cross it. I was going to say, the, the, the cross defense is working there. You can see the player out of Dorito win. Absolutely. And again, crossing, defensive. Yes, you can protect each other, but again, waiting for the other team to make a mistake pushing forward. With two players on the outside here on the snake side, the push is going to come from this side for Team Fury. And you just move forward that one to the one bunker for ahead. That's what we need to see. You want to see those two players trying to get into better positions, still protecting each other, but getting somewhere where they can actually shoot out. One is of this the player Fury looking players. on the correct side? And oh, we're making his way up Snake 2. Absolutely, there we go. Crawling snake from Snake 2 to Snake 3. Critical doing a good job of picking up that player, finding out where he is. Now, realistically, what? Wow! Forget that. <laughs> <laughs> Critical putting a shot on the Snake 3 player from Team Fury. Great job evening up the bodies. Two on two with pretty even positions here. Still plenty of time in the clock. Three minutes. Critical pushing out into Snake 1. Up into the Snake 2, oh. but gets sloppy and lets Team Fury Snake Corner Shoot him to pieces. Now it's a two-on-one situation with the last player for critical sitting in that small Aztec on the Dorito side. I like his approach here. Pushing forward, still being the aggressor, getting closer to that 50 Dorito player. Getting for a Team hit. Fury, and you hear the crowd go wild because he shoots the Team Fury player in the big Dorito. So we're down to a one-on-one -on -one situation. Right across the field. That's awesome. Now, this player on critical, he's been having a game. He shot the snake three player in a low body situation. He just moved forward in the two on one situation and shot the Dorito player. But he he's mustn't on fire right But now. he mustn't get too confident because he could easily think that he could shoot anything now. Absolutely. You just hope that confidence works for him, right? You don't want your head to, you know, blow up and just think you're too good to be cool. But uh, that's we'll who he's see. up against. That snake corner. Swapping hands, you see on the gun. That's uh, on the marker. We could very well see a one-point game here. Still two minutes on the clock. These guys could be here for a while. Absolutely. This side of the pits has gone very quiet. Yeah, and you know, the, the, the player you're looking at now in the corner for Team Fury, he's been in that back corner the whole time. So likeliness is he's a little bit low on paint. While the critical player, he was in a low body situation, so he definitely let loose trying to make sure he stayed alive. They're probably both very low on paint right now. So I move forward there to the tower. 
Yeah, you can always tell when they start sputtering. You know, one ball at a time, trying to shoot back and forth, trying to catch that player making a mistake because they don't have paint to pressure them anymore. It's the beautiful thing behind the M500 format. Mm. You know, every player in the pit right now is just grinding their teeth, waiting for something to happen. I, I imagine they want to shout and want to scream and tell them where the players are and tell them what to do. Absolutely. And, you know, you have the extra player or the coach in there just waiting to hit the buzzer in case <laughs> their team loses it. One minute on the... Ooh. What does it feel like for the player now? That's just make the little stomach bump. You want to tell yourself, I got this, I got this. But in the meantime, you're going, don't lose, don't lose, don't lose, don't lose. <laughs> You're definitely feeling the pressure now. It's quiet. You've had time to think about the game. You know the situation you're in. The stress is there. Team Fury certainly being more aggressive of the two. Absolutely. An interesting approach here. He's moving towards the critical player on the Dorito side. The and crowd back in as he got he the hit. He wins the one-on-one -on -one for his team. 30 seconds left on the clock. What an epic start to the D4 finals. Wow. So Team Fury take a 1-0 lead, 30 seconds left on the clock. They go and have time now to consolidate and work out. You hear, uh, just looking at him going into the pits there, explaining to his teammates what happened. You know whoever put, just played the one-on-one? -on -one? You definitely spin that player. You make sure he's in that next point. <laughs> he feels good about himself. He's going to be confident. He's going to do his job. It, would, it was a great comeback for him to take out a couple of players, but then just getting hit at the last minute there. Absolutely. So close, but so far away. So 1-0, 30 seconds. That's going to be great. All right, let's talk about Wolverines and Tag Fusion. Third place. Tag Fusion losing a Dorito player off the break from that insert can bunker. Wolverines able to keep five alive off the break. Tag Fusion losing the second player on that Dorito side. You see the back center filling out into that Dorito side can, trying to hold onto that side. Now a five on three situation in favor for the Wolverines as they fill the snake one and drop that body. Just two players left alive for Tag Fusion. Wolverines dominating this point as they force their way into the snake one. But lose a player in the meantime, so great job by Tag Fusion to shoot one of the players out of the center for the Wolverines. You see the Wolverines making progress up the center of the field, trying to find those last two players from Tag Fusion. Now this is when the center can be useful. You have enough bodies that there's a support player for both your front players on the wide sides. Now you can start pushing up the center and we'd say breaking the cross. You have two players from Tag Fusion, both spread out. You know they're looking over one another. Now is when you start to ghost those bunkers, walk through the center and break the cross. As Wolverines lose another player off the Dorito side, but you see two players playing the center pin right now. That's not exactly where you want to be. That's one of the smallest bunkers on the field, and doubling it up isn't necessarily the answer. So if you're a tag fusion, I just come out to the side a little bit. and Absolutely. Right, Great job forward. by Wolverines to push into the center 50, get themselves out of that bad situation. Wolverines making a push forward, losing that player. And I don't think he got anyone. So another body down from the Wolverines as Tag Fusion pushes back up the Dorito side. Tag Fusion down in the 50 Dorito, really turning this game around. Wolverines just losing a player now as well, making a big move, uh, falling back to the center. And the Wolverines run all the way back from the snake to back center as Tag Fusion comes flying down the field. Wow, what a win for Tag Fusion, pulling back a five-on-two situation. And the point is being given. If you're the Wolverines, you are pulling your hair out right now. <laughs> How did that happen? That was just, uh, just a couple of silly moves, really. Absolutely. And, you know, they were in great positions. What that is is, one, players get a little greedy. They start to gunfight because they want to finish out that point. Or two, players letting off their jobs. Like doubling up that pin in the center, that's not the answer. Once there's one guy in the center, he's going to be the one that's pushing through trying to break that cross. You don't need two guys to get that done. You want to come out to the wire, help your front player so that he doesn't have to gunfight. So real 
Mental mistake by the Wolverines. Incredible job by Tag Fusion to pull that back. All right, let's look ahead to this game. Team Fury against Critical. 30 seconds for Critical to turn this around. What do you do? Is this gung-ho straight into the middle? 30 seconds. With 30 seconds? Absolutely. Your whole tournament is on the line right now. <laughs> you know, a lot of teams are favoring that center push, but they're not passing the 50. I think you have to go past the 50 to really create that chaos for your guys to make it wide and get down the field. We'll see if they can do it. Critical running and gunning to the snake one with two players up the center, picking up the first Fury kill off the snake side. 22 seconds left on the clock. Big push into the 50 snake, but losing players in the meantime. Total chaos, and it looks like they're going to get it with 14 seconds left on the clock. And they do indeed. Wow. Critical. Storming down the field. Hitting the buzzer. Even the referees are sitting there asking us how. <laughs> yeah, how did that happen? They were wondering if one of the one of the pits had actually conceded the point, but no, in fact, that was a critical player storming through and hitting the buzzer on Team Fury. About four, three or four players coming through at the same time. Where do you shoot at that point? None of them. <laughs> you get distracted and you miss them all. But uh, a little hectic at the end definitely wasn't the best way to close it, but it got the job done. Checking the player. Checking the player, getting some input from the crowd on the, north, on the far side of the field. Absolutely. And honestly, on that run through, hitting the buzzer, it's under 60 seconds. If he hits the buzzer and he's hit, that is a swing point, And it will be a total reversal because that would be a major penalty. And the point goes to <laughs> critical. What a moment of silence <laughs> here at the paintball field at the Super Cup in the D4 finals. So, there's only going to be 12 seconds on the clock. What happens in a draw? Do we know in the final? Paul? We're going to go to overtime if... <laughs> All right. And overtime is a five on five. Okay, so overtime, we just confirmed for the D4 finals. If it goes to overtime with only 12 seconds left on the clock, it will be a five on five with five minutes. Now, if that goes to a stalemate, it will go to one-on-ones. Wow. Yeah. So you, you never want it to go one-on-one -on -one <laughs> no. when you're the one-on-one -on -one player for your team because the pressure is on. Okay. Tag Fusion up against Wolverines. Still plenty to play for here. Wolverines uh, down the one after Wolverines SA. We got, I think there's two differences here. Yes. Wolverine SA is their D4 team, and Wolverines is their challenger team. So this is third and fourth place for D4. Absolutely. What can Tag Fusion seal this off now? Remember Mercy 2 in this game. Absolutely, and again, we're just seeing huge swings in mentality here for the team. Tag Fusion coming back from a two-on-five situation in the last point. they got to be on their high horse right now, so let's hope they can use that to their advantage. Wolverines, hopefully they got their head on a swivel. They're not too down in the dirt after that first point. Wolverine's walking to the snake corner, just shooting, and uh, gets blown apart by Tag Fusion. Tag Fusion also losing the player off the Dorito side, but able to push into the snake and being aggressive with it. That's the kind of stuff you want to see, crawling all the way to the snake three while he loses his back center. So, in great field possession, but down a body. As Tag Fusion runs across the field from the center into the Dorito two, Wolverine's counter into the Dorito two as well. Now a bit of a lull as the Wolverines attack the Dorito side, bunkering Tag Fusion's 3-2 player. And there's a penalty on a major penalty. Oh, no good for Tag Fusion as there's a major penalty pulled on that Dorito side. So I can only assume that the Dorito player that was bunkered by the Wolverines spun, meaning he was bunkered in his back, turned all the way around, and shot the next player. Ouch. So, yes, a deliberate attempt to play on is going to be a major penalty. They lost their two remaining players. Again, really unfortunate. Mental mistake for Tag Fusion now. So I guess you could even that up. <laughs> all right. One all it is with uh, two and a half minutes still to go on the clock there. Now, Team Fury <laughs> critical. Greg's throwing his pen down. You're, what is going on in your mind? Uh, it's, it's a beautiful game in my, in, uh, in my opinion. You know, it was a great first battle. And now in the second point, it was a complete comeback for Critical. So with 12 seconds left on the clock, I'm telling my team, go out there, play out the 12 seconds, 
do not get a major penalty, and we'll go to overtime. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Uh, hopefully they all know the rules. It's what happened worse in South African football. Let's see. Team Fury out for the win, sending three bodies up to the center, 50 off the break. Critical losing two, three bodies in the meantime. Wow. Team's coming out here for the win. <laughs> that means that we'll go into uh, overtime points. Circumference. Overtime. One minute. Wolverines and Fusion back on the field. Wolverines and Fusion go into an overtime point. They're going to play this. Uh, no, they're going to play that after Wolverines against Tag Fusion. Fury and Critical will go into overtime. They get five minutes. Is it the first one to get the point? Yes, so it'll be one game, five on five, with five minutes on the total game clock. Now, win and take all. Exactly. Okay. And if for some reason that does come to a stalemate, which we've seen happen before, it will go to a series of one on ones. And uh, one-on-ones are very intense, especially starting from the start gate. You know it's a one-on-one -on -one off the start, uh, and it's all about trying to disappear. I actually want to see that. It's like a penalty shootout. It's not really fair, but it's, it's fun for the crowd to watch. Absolutely. We say that all the time. I hear the commentators say, oh, it was a blowout. You know, we really wanted the closer game. When I'm the player, I'm going, no way. <laughs> I'm trying to just 4-0 these guys. But it's great to see it from the other side. Third and fourth playoff. This could be the decider. Watching the Wolverines break out on your screen there. Two bodies up the center and five bodies alive for both teams. A little bit of a slower approach for the Wolverines right now with two bodies up the center crossed up in that mini A and that center can on your screen now. Tag Fusion forcing their way out into that Dorito corner. And no presence over here on the snake side. You know, there's a, a can uh, for the Wolverines on the Dorito side shooting this way to prevent anyone from coming. But the tower for Tag Fusion is not very interested in making his way over. The push for Tag Fusion is coming up the center right now, in the center 50. As they force their way into the Dorito 50 as well. So really focused on that side. And trading out on the Dorito side is that 50 Dorito. As the Tag Fusion player tries to cross the 50 through the center and gets chopped up by the Snake Tower on the Wolverines. Great counter by the Wolverines to get out of that center area and into the Dorito 1. Tag Fusion now switching their approach. They've lost that 50 Dorito player and now they have more of a presence on the Snake side. You're looking at that back center area for the Wolverines. Oh, but a one-for-one one oh, on the no. back center from the Wolverines on your screen right now. So glad you guys got to caught that. As they lose their Snake 2 player coming across, and he gets a one-for-one for, one for talking. So that last one-for-one for, one for the Wolverines comes because talking after called out. So a dead player oh, is no. not allowed to talk. Yeah, really unfortunate finish there for the Wolverines. Tag Fusion taking that second point and the third place finish. Okay, looking at it though, 53 seconds. Tag Fusion has seen a draw uh, happening just in the game before them, so they might feel they might be able to turn that around. All right, now here comes the real deal. <laughs> Division 4 Finals, Critical versus Team Fury, overtime. Five minutes on the clock. Winner takes all. It's the best kind of game, best kind of game. <laughs> Just confirming which side they start. Team Fury will be on the left as we're looking. Critical will be on the right. Quick 20 seconds to get ready. Players having to make their way quickly to the field. Imagine what's going through their minds now. I know. The stress is real. But the stress, great motivator for speed. So let's hope we <laughs> see five guys alive off the break. Gentle walk to the break out there by Team Fury. Oh, yeah. Critical lined up to go snake off the break again for the overtime point. As is Fury. And both teams making it in. Snake one is hot for both teams. Allen saying the money's on Team Fury. Critical. A little better position right now by getting wide on that Dorito side. There's no presence over there outside of the can on the inside of the field for the Doritos. On Team Fury. Ref checking them out right now. And he's clean. So still a five-on-five game, but critical in much better positions here on that Dorito side, pushing into the 40 tower. 
Team Fury trying to respond. Diving in that to the 3-1. Both Snake players for both teams being very, very cautious as they move forward. Team Fury taking Snake 2 first. Are they going to play for the clock here as well, or are you playing for the win? You are playing for the win, so you just want to play smart. You know, you always want to say smart aggression. Obviously, those seem kind of opposite sometimes, but it's it's this point or nothing. So you do not want to go to one-on-ones if you can help it, strictly because no matter how good of a player you are, a gunfight is 50-50. <laughs> Both players moving up uh, one position. Critical responding, getting into that snake too. And now a much better presence on the Dorito side by Critical. Moving into that Dorito 2. You hear that communication working its way across the field, trying to make sure that everyone is posted on where the most aggressive players are for each team. And a huge dump for Critical going from Snake 2 into that 50 Snake. And he made it. So... A team, a team player coming off for Fury, but the 50 Snake available for Critical. Oh! And T Critical taking the hit in his loader through the crack of the 50-yard line. So those Snake, whenever you meet two bunkers together, there's always a small crack as the bunkers are blown up. You have to play those areas. Wow. Team Fury responding by coming into Snake 3. Two minutes on the clock, only halfway through the game. Still plenty of time to play smart. Fury really responding on this snake side and having a better presence over here. Critical really unable to do anything from that Dorito side. They've had the advantage over there for a while, but unable to push into that 50 Dorito. So great defense by Fury on that side. You can hear the lull starting to hit the field as players start to figure out what do we need to do to win this game. This this must be so difficult. You you've got to change your tactics while it's going. It's win or lose. There's 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 no time to think, but you have to think. Absolutely. When you see a plan come together, it's those 30 second games. Those are the ones where hey, we did everything we were supposed to do in the first 10 seconds. It's as the game breaks down that you see the smarter players really adapt. Let's see if Team Fury made it into the 50 snake. He did not, so losing their aggressor on the 50 snake and critical responding by getting into the snake themselves. So Team Fury with three bodies left alive in the Dorito 1, the Dorito Can, and the Snake Corner. Critical also with three bodies left alive in the Dorito 2, the Dorito Can, and the Snake 1. So slightly better positions here for Critical. Only one minute left on the clock. And the players can see that time, yes? Yes, the players can see the time. If they remember to look at it, it <laughs> is above them. But you hear the announcement, 60 seconds. Okay. So as long as you're not too tunnel vision, you'll hear it. The Critical player tried to make a run through on the Dorito side, but doesn't get anyone so great job by the Dorito one player on team fury as he gets shot moving into Dorito two so losing that advantage and we're down to a two on two situation <laughs> with just over 30 seconds left to play in fury a two on two situation fury moving up to Dorito one with no theory here you have to decide am I gonna go for it or am I not that's up to you. It's up to the individual player. How good do you feel? And, and Team Fury hit. feels good, but gets shut down by Critical. Now in a two-on-one situation with 20 seconds left on the clock. Critical getting into the 50 snake. 10 seconds left. Four They're going to run out of time. Burrito. It's going to be too little too late here. They're still at the 50 with under five seconds left to play. That adrenaline oh, no. forced them to lose track of time. We're going to one-on-ones for the finals oh, in no. D4. One-on-ones for Fury and Critical. They're going to field first with Wolverines and Fusion. So we're going to go to one-on-ones. Greg's finding out exactly what one-on-ones mean. Alan Cole, yep, it's all about one-on-ones. I uh, can see paint running down, says Brian McCarthy indeed. Fury Snake player has the game for him if he moves, but he didn't, did he? He did not. And before this 20 seconds goes, I just found out that the one-on-ones, yep. you line up up to five players to play the one-on-ones, but whoever wins first wins. 
you do oh, have to hit the buzzer as well. Okay, so it's a proper full-on game. Absolutely, right, we'll, and it's timed as well. We'll run through Typically, they're one minute. We'll run through those details again, but now Wolverines have to come back. 53 seconds on the clock against Tag Fusion. Wolverines straight down the middle. Three men. Forcing their way into 50 Dorito. It looks like that player may have been shot in his pack on his way up there. I haven't seen him come off yet, but two players in the center 50 as Wolverines come storming down the snake side through the center, only losing two players in the meantime. With 30 seconds left on the clock, Wolverines have two players left alive and are finish it up with time to spare. Tying it up two to two. 27 seconds. Five man spread straight down the line. Sacrifice four players, one left. Yeah, you know, that was an extremely aggressive play for how much time they had left on the clock. So I, I love it. Wolverines went all in. You know, we keep seeing it. When teams really want to win, they're going up the center, and Wolverines did it right by going through. As soon as they got up there, they shot the wide guys on tag fusion and then took off. That's how you win a game through the center. Still some heavy breaths being taken as they walk past the commentary box here. Points being approved. Two, two all. Let's hear about the one-on-ones. -on -ones. Still finishing this game, Wolverines and fusion. Back on the field, we'll start with the one-on-ones just after this. All right, so what we'll do is you and I will take a quick little breath. Uh, they got two minutes now to uh, get themselves sorted out. We'll have a quick little breath and a little water, and we'll be back with uh, uh, the th that, that is the third and fourth playoffs. And then it's down. the final is down to one-on-ones. Details coming up. We're back again live at Emerald Casino and Emerald Resort and Casino. Uh, sun's dipping off to our left as we look at it. Big clouds overhead, keeping it nice and cool. We're hoping the rain stays away for an hour or so. It's uh, going the distance now. It's uh, third and fourth playoffs that we're going to have. Wolverines and Tag Fusion tied at two all. 27, seven, 27 seconds left on the clock. We saw Wolverines, Greg, they're going very aggressive. I imagine the same sort of tactic coming from the left-hand side. I think so. I think they're setting the tempo, and uh, it worked for them. So, honestly, with 27 seconds left on the clock, do you go, hey, we're going to go to overtime and try it again? Or do you say, we're going to uh, go for the win right now? You're going to lose it. You see, previously we were talking there was a tie. It was a zero anyway. You might as well give it a go. Absolutely. Now you're fourth place. Absolutely. So this is your tournament in your hands with 27 seconds left on the clock. Tag Fusion going to the snake off the break. Wolverine's a little more conservative than we expected, keeping two guys in back center, but a quick push on the Dorito side into that small temple. That looks like they're playing for the player. draw. Five on four situation in favor of Tag Fusion with 12 seconds left on the clock. It looks like we're going to overtime, unless there is a major penalty in the next 10 seconds. Wolverine's losing one, two players. There we go. We're into overtime, folks. So Division Four, top four teams really putting on a show for us. Ready for overtime, we're doing Team Fury and Critical for one on one. So one player from Fury on the left hand side, one player from Critical on the right hand side. The time on the clock will be two minutes. The first team to score a point will be awarded the winners. Wow, what a, a good old-fashioned duel! <laughs> it is indeed. What uh, you, you said? You practice one on ones before a game. So sure. what what does one do? You know, a lot of these guys like to get into a straight-up fight. They want to battle each other and say, "Hey, I have better marker skills than you do." Me, I like to disappear. I will backtrack. I will sidetrack. It doesn't matter because no matter where I go, as long as he doesn't know where I am. I won't shoot again until I have a clear shot on him. You want to be the hunter, not the hunted. Exactly. And it's very exhausting. So I'm a scrambler, but everyone's got a little bit different approach. So it'll be it's always fun to see how players play it. Let's see who the players uh, on the field are. Team Fury up against Critical. So we'll move the scoreboard out until that gets uh, until that gets uh, sorted out. As technical issues that I was we were just told by the timekeepers that they don't have an overtime facility. So Team Fury up against Critical. It's the final of Division Four. 
they've had overtime. It's now one on one. One player. Who do you send out? Your best marker, your best scrambler? You send out your I mean Man I say your most confidence player. But uh realistically, a lot of these guys have been playing together for at least one season, if not more. You know who your best player is. And it may not be your best player in a team situation, it's just your best individual player. Two minutes on the clock starts now. Fury Team laying Fury. down fire. Going to the Dorito side. <laughs> oh, looks like uh, Team Fury might have been hit. Oh, and, and he's Team out. Fury gets shot. Does he know the rules that he has to hit the buzzer? He does, but Critical making sure that that uh, player is sure. gone. He hears the crowd getting <laughs> excited. Big result. A long distance shot as well, right across the Absolutely. field. Absolutely, and that's what I'm talking about. Getting into those one-on-one -on -one battles instead of scrambling. Great job by Critical. So the winners of Division 4, Team Critical beating Team Fury in a one-on-one -on -one after extra time. It was locked at one all after regulation time. So well done to Team Critical. They're just checking the player now to see if he was hit at all. Referees radioing the details. We're waiting for, to find out. Little suspense here. That's the referee there, and that's the player who hit the buzzer. Oh, he's waiting still. And? There, there it is. We go. <laughs> there you go, the Reapers to celebrate. Critical. Storming the field. <laughs> We gotta give him the trophy on the field quickly as well. You're in front of the camera. Well then, to Critical from the Western Cape. Awesome job by Critical. Epic battle for the D4 finals and a huge finish for their one on one champ. It's a hard way to lose a final, as uh, Alan Cole says, isn't it? It's a hard way to lose a finals, but it's an incredible way to win a final. So, risk and reward as Paintball continues to show us. It was it was interesting one on one. It was uh, there was a little bit of cat and mouse, but it was certainly a great long distance shot to seal that off. Absolutely. So you saw the approach. You know, both players really just wanted to lay heavy shots. They just wanted to shoot as much paint as possible to really pressure that other player and force that mistake. Um, and let's, both let's get, willing to engage. Let's get the trophy being handed over, guys. You can see just how much it means to them winning that division four. Absolutely, especially at the end of the year. That's the accumulation of a lot of hard work over a long season. So <laughs> it's not just what you saw today. It goes so far beyond that. And that's why it's just, it means so much to the players. Now we're going to change.